Okay, we're going to look at a trinomial one as well, or fancy way of saying three terms. So we got the same kind of expansion question we've had before, but now it's looking at the idea of what if there's more terms? We've talked about this, but I want to make sure you see at least one example. So what do we got? In our first bracket, we have 3x minus 6. Second bracket, we have h, ooh, a variable, 4z, another variable, plus 11x. So we don't even have x's at the beginning, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter if the x is the beginning, the end, the rules are all going to apply. The fact that we have variables doesn't matter. The math is always the same, remember. So if I want to expand this out, I have to take all the terms in the first bracket and multiply it by all the terms in the second. Just because there's three terms, just because they're variables, doesn't change anything. Still the same thing. So 3x has to be multiplied by h, by 4z, and by 11x. And then guess what? Minus 6 also multiplied by all three terms. Math's the same. There's a little bit more math because we're multiplying more terms, but so what? Math is the same. So we get 3x times h, and then 3x times 4z, well, we got a minus, so we got to put a minus there. 3x times 4z, and then 3x times 11x, and that's a plus. Now we go through and do the minus 6 part, and ooh, might run out of room, didn't think this through. Minus 6 times h, then minus 6 times minus 4z, minus and minus, remember, makes a plus. So plus 6 times 4z. Just write a little bit smaller, especially because, oops, I forgot to say this is all equal to 0. So minus 6 plus 11x, a minus and a plus makes a minus, so minus 6 times 11x. All of this equal to 0. And if you can't see that, I'll just write that equal to zero part here as well. All of this equal to zero. So, what do we have? 3x times h. Well, we can't simplify that anymore. That's just 3hx or 3xh, whatever way we want to write it. Since x is the variable we assume in this case, I'll write it at the end. Doesn't matter. Then we got this term, 3x, 4z. Well, that just becomes minus 12 z x. Again, I'm just choosing to put the x's at the end. Doesn't matter. 3x and 11x, ooh, those can be combined to become 33x squared. And minus 6h, 6 times h, so minus 6h, yeah. 6 times 4z, so we get 24z. And then minus 66x, all equals 0. Now we want to look, group what terms we can. So we start going through and going, can we? Well, hx can't combine with zx. x squared can't combine with any of that. h can't combine. It has to be the same variables. Sure, this has an h and this has an h, but they both also have to have an x. So we can't combine these two. Can't combine, well, any of them. None of these terms can be combined. If we really wanted to be fancy, we could put the x squared in front and write this as a quadratic.